Title, Imperfectly Whole Once upon a time in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering pine trees, there lived a man named Hiroshi. A silver fox with a mane of wisdom that draped down his shoulders, Hiroshi was known for his tranquil demeanor and the stories he carried in the lines etched on his face. Hiroshi was not a man who sought perfection, instead, he found beauty in imperfection. His journey of self-discovery had led him to a profound realization, that the pursuit of perfection was an illusion, mirage that vanished the closer one approached. One sunny afternoon, the villagers gathered at the heart of the village, under the ancient cherry blossom tree, where Hiroshi often shared his tales. On this particular day, as the fragrance of cherry blossoms filled the air, Hiroshi began his story. Once, in the prime of my life, I too danced with the illusion of perfection, Hiroshi began, his eyes reflecting the memories of bygone years. I sought flawless success, impeccable relationships, and an unblemished existence. Little did I know, this pursuit was like chasing a shadow, always slipping away. The village listened in rapt attention as Hiroshi continued, one day, as I labored in my garden, tending to the rows of carefully planted flowers, I noticed a solitary wildflower blooming amidst the cultivated perfection. Its petals were uneven, colors mismatched, yet it stood proud and resilient, untouched by the constraints of order. In that moment, I realized the profound beauty of imperfection. Hiroshi's audience nodded in understanding as he unfolded the tale of his transformation. As the seasons changed, so did Hiroshi's perspective. He embraced the imperfections within himself and in the world around him. His heart, once burdened by the relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal, now soared with newfound freedom. One day, a troubled young man named Kenji approached Hiroshi. Kenji, with furrowed brows and a heavy heart, sought the elusive path to perfection. His aspirations, like a tightly wound spring, threatened to snap under the pressure. Hiroshi welcomed Kenji, and they sat beneath the cherry blossom tree. The older man spoke, young one, perfection is a fickle companion that will forever elude you. The essence of life lies not in flawless achievements, but in the mosaic of experiences, both joyous and challenging. He continued, weaving words of wisdom into the fabric of a story that mirrored the trials and triumphs of Kenji's own journey. Hiroshi shared tales of his imperfect adventures, highlighting the lessons learned in moments of vulnerability and resilience. With each anecdote, Kenji's rigid expectations began to loosen. The weight of perfection gradually lifted, replaced by a sense of acceptance and appreciation for the imperfect tapestry of life. In the weeks that followed, Kenji embraced imperfection. He started a small pottery workshop, creating unique pieces that celebrated the quirks and irregularities of each creation. The village noticed the transformation in Kenji, and soon, others began to question their own relentless pursuit of perfection. The stories of Hiroshi's wisdom spread far and wide, reaching distant villages and towns. People sought him out, hungry for the liberating insights he offered. Hiroshi, now a sage of imperfection, continued to share his tales, guiding countless souls towards a more authentic and fulfilling existence. And so, under the shade of the ancient cherry blossom tree, the village thrived not because it was perfect, but because it embraced imperfection as the very essence of life. The journey of Hiroshi and Kenji echoed through the generations, reminder that in the imperfect dance of existence, one finds the true rhythm of their soul. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow upon the village, Hiroshi concluded his story, leaving his listeners with a timeless truth, in the tapestry of life. It's the imperfect threads that create the most beautiful patterns. Embrace your imperfections, for they are the brushstrokes that paint the masterpiece of your existence. As the village absorbed Hiroshi's words, the air seemed to shimmer with newfound understanding. The villagers, inspired by the wisdom shared beneath the cherry blossom tree, began to embrace imperfection in their own lives. A young artist named Mei, who had struggled with the pursuit of the perfect stroke in her paintings, now found joy in the unpredictable swirls of color on her canvas. Her art began to tell stories of resilience and authenticity, attracting admirers from neighboring villages. The blacksmith, Takashi, once consumed by the desire for flawlessness in his craftsmanship, 
began to experiment with unconventional designs. His creations, though unconventional, became sought after for their unique charm, each piece telling a tale of the journey from raw metal to a work of imperfect beauty. Even the children of the village, inspired by Hiroshi's stories, formed a club dedicated to celebrating their quirks and differences. They adorned themselves with mismatched socks and proudly displayed drawings with smudges and doodles, embracing the imperfect uniqueness that made each of them special. As the seasons passed, the village transformed into a haven of authenticity and acceptance. Hiroshi, the wise sage, became a revered elder whose stories were sought by people from far and wide. The once pursuit of perfection was replaced by a collective understanding that life's true essence lay in embracing imperfection. One day, a weary traveler named Akiko arrived at the village, burdened by the weight of her own expectations. Her eyes, clouded with self-doubt, reflected the struggles of a soul caught in the relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal. The villagers, recognizing the familiar struggle, guided Akiko to the cherry blossom tree, where Hiroshi sat in quiet contemplation. As she approached, Hiroshi welcomed her with a gentle smile, sensing the storm within her. In the hushed embrace of the cherry blossom tree's shade, Hiroshi began to share his stories once again. He wove tales of the village's transformation, of Mei's vibrant paintings, Takashi's unconventional craftsmanship, and the laughter of children embracing their imperfections. Akiko, her heart gradually opening to the wisdom of the stories, felt a shift within. The weight of perfection that had shackled her began to loosen, and a newfound lightness filled the void. As the stories unfolded, Akiko's gaze shifted from the ground beneath the cherry blossom tree to the branches above, adorned with delicate blooms. In that moment, she understood that life, like the blossoms, was a fleeting masterpiece of imperfection, ever-changing and inherently beautiful. With a heart now unburdened, Akiko thanked Hiroshi and the villagers for the profound gift of acceptance. She decided to stay in the village contributing her unique talents to the growing tapestry of imperfection. In time, word of Akiko's transformation spread beyond the village, becoming another chapter in the stories whispered beneath the ancient cherry blossom tree. The once weary traveler had found a home, not in the pursuit of perfection, but in the embrace of imperfection and the warmth of a community that celebrated the beauty in each individual. And so, under the watchful gaze of the cherry blossom tree, the village continued to flourish. The wisdom of Hiroshi echoed through the generations, a timeless reminder that perfection was an illusion, and true fulfillment lay in the imperfect dance of life. As the seasons cycled through their eternal rhythm, the village stood as a living testament to the transformative power of embracing imperfection, a beacon of light in a world often blinded by the illusion of flawlessness. And beneath the cherry blossom tree, Hiroshi continued to share his stories, knowing that the journey towards imperfection was, in fact, the most perfect path of all.